Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video will be all about how to get your embroidery files from your computer to your embroidery machine. So you'll just need a couple things that include your embroidery machine, your computer, and your flash drive. And guys, stay tuned to the end because I will be giving you a freebie. So let's get started into this video. All right guys, so I just opened up my computer and I'm gonna to go to Safari. So my website of choice to get embroidery designs is Etsy, of course. If you don't know what Etsy is, it's just a marketplace that sells a lot of different things. They sell digital files and handmade, a lot of handmade things. So I'm just going to type in embroidery designs. Another website that I like to use is Creative Fabrica. They have a lot of different embroidery designs on there as well. And there's also people that will digitize your items for you on Etsy too. So I'm just going to go back and I think I did see something that I like and it was these butterflies like this design and I'm going to get this so let me just check and make sure that it comes in the format that I need so yep PS and PEC and it does um, qualify for the sizes that I need for my embroidery machine since I have the 1900 I could use a 5x7 or I could use a 4x4 hoop so I'm just going to add this to cart and then proceed to check out and guys i'm just going to sign into my etsy account so that it's a little bit easier for me to check out and if you don't have an etsy account you should consider signing up so that so that when you make purchases it'll be easier just to go back and get your designs It's just asking me, do I want to allow Etsy to do downloads onto my computer? And I'm just going to hit allow. And it's downloading into my computer right now. So right here from my computer, I'll just go to my finder tab. And then I'll go look onto my left hand side to downloads. So here's my file that we just purchased on Etsy right here in the download folder. Okay, so you see all the files that it came with, all the different inches and stuff like that. So this is the point where I'll take my flash drive and put it into my computer. So since I do have the newer MacBook, I have to use a USC port. And then I'll just put this into my laptop. So once it's in my laptop, I'll wait for the computer to recognize that the flash drive is there and it comes up under no name. Since this is a new flash drive, I never named it. So yours might come up under unlisted or untitled or no name if it is a newer flash drive that you didn't name. So once I open up which file I want and I'm just going to use the 4x4 and then right here we'll just find what type of format that we use and like I said the brother machine uses the PES but you'll see all different types of format for you to choose so you'll just select the one that you need then from here you can then go to edit it'll be at the top of your screen and then you'll click copy and then you'll find your flash drive and then from here you'll click edit again and then you'll just hit paste and once that's already there I'll just look for it and it's right here butterfly for PES. So we know that our file is now in our flash drive so I could just eject my flash drive from my computer. You got to make sure that you eject the flash drive from the computer. If not you can mess up the information that is in the flash drive. So just make sure you hit eject and make sure that the computer does recognize that the flash drive is away. Alright guys so now that your embroidery file is on your flash drive and you already pressed the eject button you could just take your flash drive out of your computer. And now you'll be putting it into your embroidery machine. Okay, and since I do have the SE1900, my USB drive is on the right-hand side of the machine. And with most brother machine, and with most brother machines, the USB drive is right here. So I'll just take my USB and then plug it right in. And then I'll come over to the front of the machine where you'll see a button for your USB, and I'll click that. Once I click that, I can now start to look for the design that I uploaded to the flash drive. So this is the butterfly design that we brought off of Etsy. So it's just telling me that the pattern extends to the outside of the frame and I'll say okay and change my frame. So right here and then set and then I'm ready to embroider once I finish all of the editing for it. 
it's ready so guys this is how you upload a design from your computer to your embroidery machine thank you guys for watching this far into the video as a thank you for subscribing to my channel there will be a free design link below in the description so guys grab that and thank you guys for watching this video